Uh, I'm here today with uh, Oliver Marmel. He's the uh, manager of the State College Spikes, uh, the uh, single-A short-season minor league affiliate of the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, we're going to talk about a little bit about last night's uh, Game 2 victory over the uh, Hudson Valley Renegades, uh, single-A short-season affiliate of the Tampa Bay Rays, and preview tonight's game as well. So, I, I guess to start, um, what was the team's, um, after, well, after losing game one, what was the team's kind of psyche heading into uh, game two last night? Oh uh, yeah, in a three-game series, game two is the most important one. If you win game one, game two punches the warrior, or takes you to game three if you lose game one. So, uh, those guys were ready. Uh, they prepare the same way every time out. Uh, it's a loose clubhouse. They don't really fear a whole lot. So, when in game two, don't worry. We're going to do the job. Today, we prepare the same way, see what happens. Um, now, last year you guys were in a, a similar situation, down one game to nothing to uh, Jamestown. Does that help either the coaching staff or the coaching staff and the, in the team in any way? Um, it's a different group. You've got some guys that are repeating the level that know the feeling of losing game one and being uh, with their backs against the wall for game two and three. Um, these guys are comfortable being in that position. Um, they're a mentally tough group and uh, they're looking forward to it. Okay. And then the other thing that you guys had uh, going for last night is you had a uh, Will Anderson. Uh, some some people would probably call him the ace of your staff. How did that help with confidence? Yeah, you always want to have a good guy going for your game too because of those reasons I just stated. Um, and he was the right guy for the situation. Uh, good boys, good mount presence doesn't let a whole lot affect them. We were able to take an early lead there and felt comfortable and cruise for seven club. Okay. Um, and then I guess um, Seferina. Uh, he scored the first run in the first inning. Uh, how did that help uh, your confidence again then grow throughout the game? Yeah, I think the key to this series is first team to score. Uh, today that's going to be important as well. Uh, we got on the board early yesterday, was able to build on it the very next inning, and then a couple of minutes later added another run, and you take momentum and you don't give it up. So that's important. So today it's going to be important for us to get on the board early and continue that. Okay. And then the final question about that game. What did you see as far as differences between last night's game two and then uh, Wednesday night's game one? Uh, same thing. It's a playoff situation. Uh, both teams are going to pitch very well. Uh, we're going to play good defense. They're going to be close ball games. Lost three to nothing in the first game. Lost three to nothing in the second game. Um, these games are going to be tight. Uh, our goal is to score a good bit of runs today and take it. So uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, and I guess moving on to the day, some um, you guys have played uh, the Renegades seven times this year. And, you know, for, for a team that is arguably the best offensive team in the New York Penn League, they've given you given you some hard time or hard ball games. Uh, why do you think that is and what have you done or what can you do to score runs? Yeah, uh, it's no different. They got good pitching. They were second or third in the league, I believe third or so in pitching this year. Um, we're number one in hitting and uh, good pitching makes it tough to hit. They've proven that. We'll continue to prepare the same way. They make mistakes, and we'll take advantage of it. Okay. Um, and then you have uh, Fernando Baez going for tonight. Uh, what what does he bring to the ball club as far as a pitcher? And why did you, I guess, choose him to pitch game three tonight? Yeah, we got Fernando going today. He's a plus arm. Uh, his, his velo's up there in the mid-90s. He runs it up there. And, uh, the way it fell with the rotation, he's the guy that's going to go today, and we uh, we have trust in him doing the job. Okay. And then uh, on the other side of the ball, uh, Hudson Valley has Chris Pike going. Can you tell me anything about what, to ex what you guys expect from Chris Pike and how maybe you can get some runs, score runs off of him? Uh, we expect our hitters to have a good approach and, and do the same thing they do every day. Uh, they finish number one in the league for a reason. Um, doesn't really affect us who's on the bump for them. Uh, we just stick to our approach and what we do well. Okay. And then um, I probably answered this one between the other questions, but what do you see as keys to victory tonight? Getting on the board early. I think it's going to be very important. I think uh, bias, keeping guys off base, uh, no free passes with uh, walks is going to be very important. Uh, once they get runners on, they like to run and move guys over and that whole deal. So as long as we continue to get their leadoff guy out, I think we'll